We're now going to look at trapeziums, and trapeziums are interesting shapes. Trapeziums. What are trapeziums, and why might they be useful? First, let's find a font. Let's do that font, and a green. There we are, trapeziums. A trapezium is a shape like this. It has two parallel sides, so two sides which are parallel, which means they never meet, if you're not sure about parallel. They would carry on forever without meeting. Just to show that they're parallel, you'd do a little arrow, like so, and the other sides are also joined up. So it's a quadrilateral. There we are, that side and that side. That is a trapezium. The difference between a trapezium and a parallelogram is that only one pair of sides are parallel in a trapezium, whereas in a parallelogram, both pairs of sides are parallel. How might we find the area of a trapezium? There's an interesting thing about trapeziums. I'll try and show you. If you got a trapezium and copied it, let's see if this will work, if I copy it quite closely, and then I copied, and then I pasted, right, so we've got two trapeziums. Now watch this, if I rotate this trapezium upside down, uh, apart from the overlap, which I can fill in in a moment. You see I'm slotting them in together. There you go, they're slotted in together. What shape do I have now? I have a parallelogram. Now, let's imagine that the original shape, the original trapezium, remember this guy over here, if he had a length up here of, let's say, A, let's do it in a different color, a length on top here of A, and a length down here of B. Let's say he had a height as well. A height of, which letter should we say? Might as well call it H. A height of H. What about this new upside down trapezium? Well, as you saw me, it was copy and paste. It's the same exact trapezium. That means the A is now upside down here, and the base, B, is now upside down here. At the moment, you're probably thinking I've gone completely crazy. I've made up this new shape called trapezium, I've flipped it upside down, and now I'm labeling it with random letters. What on earth is going on? What I'm trying to show you is why the formula of the trapezium for its area is what it is. I could have just given you the formula, but I think it's far more interesting, and you'll, you'll learn it for far longer if you see where it comes from. We're getting close now to finding the area of a trapezium. How do we find the area of a parallelogram? Because you know, you agreed this big new shape is a parallelogram. This whole giant shape from here to here to here to here is a parallelogram, like a massive parallelogram. And the area of a parallelogram is the base times the height. I have done a, a video on that. It's base times the height. What is the base in this trapezium? Well, it's A and a B. And down here, A plus B again. So we have a base of A plus B. So hang with me. Keep going, even though it's a little bit confusing. We have an A plus B as the base. And the height, we called it was H. So it's A plus B times by the height, H. And we're almost done. We're absolutely almost done. The only problem is that gives us the area of the whole thing, two trapeziums. Because re remember, I got my first trapezium, and then I did another one. Now, if that's the area of two of the trapeziums, the area of just one of the trapeziums is going to be a half of A plus B times by the height. And that is indeed the formula for a trapezium. You add the two parallel sides, A and B, times it by the height, and then you divide by two. There's actually even a song to go with it, which I won't sing to spare you. Now, if I take all that away, let's see how much you remember. If we have a trapezium here, 
this if we can let's try and change the color oops I don't know if it, yeah there you go have a new trapezium here and this side is length 8 centimeters this side is length 6 centimeters and the height which you need to find the area is let's say 2 centimeters what about that slant length you might be wondering that's different that won't help us find the area so let's just focus on the perpendicular height here perpendicular just means going straight up what was the formula again what we had to do was we had to add the two parallel sides which in this case is 8 and 6 using our formula of a half a plus b times by the height so adding a plus b we add 8 plus 6 8 plus 6 equals 14 now we times by the height we could divide by 2 first that might be easier but let's just in this question times by the height first it doesn't really matter 14 times by 2 which is the height equals 28 and now finally we times it by the half which means basically we divide it in two we, we half it half of 28 28 divided by 2 equals 14 so the area of our wonderful trapezium is 14 centimeters squared now trapeziums I think are a wonderful shape and they have a lovely name and I hope that's giving you an interesting introduction to finding their area